Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I know I kind of said that backwards. How y'all doing today? Welcome, peace, love, and light. Welcome to Tommy Bites Homestead. So I'm just out here looking at my garden and I really need to fertilize my garden, but I gotta get the uh, 511, which is the fish emulsion. I think I'm saying that right. And that's gonna help it grow. So these are my sweet potatoes. They are growing. I, it's been raining every afternoon here, like pouring rain. These are like coming out of the bucket now. Um, everything is going, it's just going in slow motion. So I'm not gonna water, cause I don't wanna over water. So I have my mixture together with my water and oil and a little bit of dish soap <laughs> and that's gonna help with some of the bugs that might want to entertain my plants and take over I don't want that to happen so I'm just gonna do a little graze over these are my peppers These are my collars, and I don't know what to say about them, y'all. More peppers. I have cucumbers and corn, green beans and okra and cabbage and sunflowers all throughout here. Put a little bit on these sweet potatoes and that should take care of any little bugs that might be trying to take over my plants and something you might not know about that I'm just learning about so I thought I'd share it and that's hydrogen peroxide and you want to do this like maybe the first of the month uh, spray your plants and this is gonna help clean the leaves and kill anything that might be, fungus that might be trying to grow on it. Especially your squash. This is my squash. It's actually, my squash is doing better in the ground than it did in the bed. So I'm really thinking about, should I even do a bed again? when I plant again this I planted late I started this late so this will be my fall crop that most people are planting now for the fall so this will be mine because I'm not gonna plant again after the fall I might grow me some spinach in the house but that's about it y'all you know hydrogen peroxide is in high demand right now with everything going on and you know you use it to clean your wounds and all of this other stuff and kill bacteria and stuff let's get my pumpkins over here real good these are my pumpkins for and then what i'm gonna do and i can see is getting a lot of water because my leaves are yellow i'm just gonna pop that off toss it so that all the energy goes to the ones that are trying that's, that's all I want to do with that I need to get me some wool I got my scissors I, said, I just walked right past them y'all so this garden this is my first garden ever and it's kind of frustrating I want to be honest, it's kind of frustrating because although it's growing, my corn is coming up really good. A lot of this corn I just planted like a few weeks ago, so they're doing good, but it's a lot of stuff that's not like my cabbage over here. And y'all can't keep the squirrels out. They come and they dig, and it's just ridiculous. But 
yeah i don't know if i'll do a raised bed and if i do i'm gonna do my soil totally different i think i'm not gonna use the black cow one i'm gonna be honest with you everybody's saying oh black cow black cow it is the thing and i guess it is the thing because a lot of people are using it because they can't never stay stocked in stores but my thing is it attracts so many flies y'all how can you how can you um use it and it not attract so many flies if you know please let me know because otherwise i just i can't use it i can't um it's just too many flies i can't deal with all that i don't even know why i'm bothering with these little school tomatoes here i just want to see what they do you know i just want to see what they do so we just put these out and it's disgusting it is so disgusting the flies get in there so i don't know how they get in there but they get in there they work because it's flies in there but it's also like uh those gross maggots in there but i need to go get those pellet things and put in the grass because flies like to sit in the grass so do the mosquitoes oh my god don't get me started on the mosquitoes but yeah i don't know i'm struggling with this yard not the yard but the the my sweet potatoes are doing great I'm doing really good on that. So I hope I yield something from that come September, maybe the beginning of October. Um, some things are doing good and some things aren't. It's trial and error. Y'all can tell by my voice, I'm so frustrated. I mean, super duper frustrated. I even forgot about these things over here that I planted. I haven't watered them. Thank God it's been raining. I forgot I even put the remainder of my seeds, not my seeds, my uh, green what is it? jalapenos over there. It's just, I don't know, it's the struggle. Everything's not always perfect, you know, and I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Um, yeah, let me show you the other stuff that I have in the front. I moved my strawberries to the front because the squirrel was eating my strawberries. Like, as soon as they turned red, boom i'm gonna take your strawberries so i have more on here now that i've moved them to the front so that's a good thing you see the blah the blooms i said the blah the blooms there um my canna lilies have shot up i need a bigger container to put them in um, this is, this is my mom's elephant ear. It's really grown since I got it from her when she was, uh, sick. And it's even got a new leaf coming on there. This down here is new. That's new. That's, I mean, it's really doing great. Um, in here, I planted, uh, some lemon seeds that I ordered from wish.com. So I don't even know what kind of lemon seeds it is. I'm sure it's not a Meyer lemon. Um, I might need to take a picture on my Plant Snap app and see if that'll come up. My four clocks that I got from my sister's house, when I first got them, they were down here. Now, as you can see, they're all the way up there. So they're doing great. Let's see, let me show you my watermelon. I just put them in this little cut in front of my house. So back here, these are my marigolds I planted from seed. And my God, they have grown so much. 
Okay, so over here, let me pull this weed out. That's the weed that is not a watermelon. Cantaloupe. This is watermelon and it is very long. This is the vine here. I just let it drape right to there. There's another one that's draping. And over here. So they're doing good. Then around the corner, I put some okra. These are just some more okra. I just dropped these seeds here and just to see what they would do in the sand type uh, soil because I think I'm gonna start using more sand because they came up in no time. I think I'm gonna do start mixing sand with my um, peat moss and garden soil and just get away from the black cow and also get the fertilizer. But y'all, I ain't been working, so I ain't got no money. Not like that, not for that. So, feel free to cash out Tommy. It's down in the description. Anyway, I'm scared to go over here because this bird got this nest up there. You can see. And I don't want my eyes pecked out. I'm going to show you why I mean so many flies. I made this mixture up and I put some pomegranate seeds in and some lemon seeds. And the flies and the little gnat bugs, they just congregate to it. And I'm tired of it so tired of it. My Mother's Day flower is still doing so great. I just, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm just really just staying here and I look at my little stuff because they're doing so good up here. So the soil is good because when I put that squash that's in the backyard down, it just really took because they were dying in the raised bed so i don't know what i did wrong well i kind of know i guess but um i'm gonna try the fish emulsion in the flower beds and on everything that i have and see wait 30 days and see what the difference is if i see a difference then i know that that's what i need to be using um they did do the first raised bed did better once I added the uh, Epsom salt to it, I saw a difference in the richness of the color of the um, corn and stuff like that. So that did help the soil some, but you know, if you don't have your foundation together, everything else is gonna crumble. So I'm gonna go, I would just want to put together a little video to show you what I'm dealing with. The struggle is real over here so 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 real and i want to talk to y'all about something at a later date um y'all take care have a blessed 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 day thank y'all for joining me on my channel please remember to like the video hit that button because that helps my analytics it tells youtube hey i want to see more of her channel and then they'll push my channel out it helps my channel grow and we're growing vegetables and we're growing fruit but we also want to grow the channel so peace love and light thank y'all so much for joining tommy bites homestead and i will see y'all on the other side of tomorrow smooches tommy tommy bites